everyone! Today let's look at Japanese slang, which probably by the time I upload this video, some words may be considered old by Japanese high schoolers. So Japanese slang, commonly called JK go in Japanese, can also be called wakamono kotoba, meaning young people's words. JK is short for joshikose, which means Japanese high school girls. Japan also has a short term for high school, early high school students, JC, which means josh chugakuse, and they also have words for women going to university, JD, which means joshi daise. These popular words change very quickly so some words that go viral may be considered out of fashion several months or even weeks later I know that the word pian which means uh, I'm crying a little bit and I'm so sad is a word that went viral several months ago but is now considered old by Japanese high schoolers so let's look at the words that are popular at the moment and see whether we can understand them so the first word is um, juaru. I know what this word means. Jiwaru means jiwa jiwa suru, I think. <laughs> Which means like when someone says a joke and you laugh a little bit later or how funny it is comes to you gradually, that means jiwa jiwa suru. Jiwaru. And let's see whether I got this correct. Um Yep. Jiwa jiwa komiyagete kuru. Apparently that means um which means you know the laughter gradually comes to you. Okay, next word. We're going to KS. K S? Um, I know that's a, like a short term for something, but K S. Kuki suitai. I wanna breathe in some fresh air. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Kidoku suru, which means say you you sent a message to someone and that person read the message, but they haven't replied yet. That means kidoku suru. So. KS. Like, even when I know what it means, I don't know how to use it. Maybe they say, um, KS suru na. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next word. Um, kamacho. I don't know if the intonation is correct, like the accent, but kamacho. Kamacho. <laughs> kamacho. Ka. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know this one. But let me see. Kamatte hoshi. So it's like, kamatte hoshi means. I want you to talk to me, or I want you to play with me, or I want to do things together with you. Why is it kama kamacho? I'm gonna search it up again. Oh, <laughs> apparently it means kamatte chodai. So it means please give me your attention. Kamatte chodai. Okay, next word, chiru. Um, well, I'm just gonna say chiru as in chill, so like relaxing, relaxu suru. Because, you know, in English you say chill, right? Let's chill somewhere or let's chill out at the cafe or something like that. So I'm going to say ch chill. And the answer is... Oh, I was right! Nonbiri suru. Nonbiri, which means kind of like relax. And then we're going to go to the next word. And the next word is... Mendi. It's like in katakana. Mendi? It just sounds like a person's name. <laughs> Mendi? Mendokusaine! But why is it D? I'm just gonna go Mendokusaine, which means like, I can't be bothered to do anything or I'm so lazy. Okay, let's get the answer. Oh, ho, 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 I was correct. Mendouda! Hmm, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, next one. Morihairu. Like, forests grow. <laughs> um, I don't even know when they would use this. Morihairu. It kind of sounds like kusahairu. Yeah. Kusahairu means like, lol, because. It's gonna be a long story, but long story short, kusaheru, when people laugh in Japan on like electronic devices, electronic devices, on like, you know, messaging applications, they use the letter W, which is short for warau, like wara wara. Wara is like the kanji laugh, right? So that W apparently looks like grass. So because it looks like grass, another new popular word was made called kusaheru, like grasses grow. So, I don't know, kusahairu sounds like morihairu. So I'm thinking it's like a similar way of using it. But then there's like stuff in between. Like there's kusa and then there's like hayashi. Hayashi and forest. I'm gonna... <laughs> what? Hayashi and mori both means like woodland. But then mori is a larger version of hayashi. But then kusahairu and morihairu but there's no hayashi hairu. Or is there? Okay. 
I searched it up and apparently there is no Hayashi Hairu, but there is a word called Take Hairu, which means bamboo growth. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna see the answer of Mori Hairu. I'm, I'm thinking that Kusa Hairu is like lol and like Mori is like rawful. The answer is. Oh, warairu, which means like laughing. So I was kind of correct. So uh, we looked at some of the JK words, JK go, or like, you know, wakama no kotoba that Japanese people or Japanese high schoolers use recently, but it was pretty hard. <laughs> and you know, in several months' time, these words might be like out of date, <laughs> out of fashion, and there might be like new words that are in. So that was pretty interesting. Um, please let me know how you felt seeing these JK go. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe if you like this vid. Please like and subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.